Thanks for joining us for the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer July 2022 survey results. I'm Jim Minter, director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and I'm going to share with you the highlights of this month's survey results. The Ag Economy Barometer rose six points this month to a reading of 103 compared to 97 last month, but still well below where it was this time last year when the reading stood at 137. The small rise in the barometer was attributable to improvements in both the index of current conditions, which rose nine points to a reading of 109, and a small rise in the index of future expectations, which rose just four points. If you look at the barometer, the current condition index, and the future expectation index, they're all down nearly 25% compared to this time last year. U.S. farmers remain concerned about a wide variety of issues, but especially higher input costs. In this month's survey, we asked them what their biggest concerns are for their farming operation in the upcoming year, and 42% of the respondents in our survey said higher input costs was their number one concern, followed by lower crop and or livestock prices, rising interest rates, and even availability of inputs. The Farm Financial Performance Index actually rose five points this month to a reading of 88 compared to 83 last month, as farmers felt a little bit better about their current financial situation on their farming operation. But when we asked them about the future, 49% of the farmers in our survey said that they expected their farm operation to be financially worse off a year from now than it is today. The Farm Capital Investment Index remains mired in the mid-30s, essentially at its all-time lows. And we followed up and asked producers that responded negatively to the question that the index is based on, what is their primary reason that they think now is a bad time to make large investments in their farming operation? 44% of them said it was the increase in prices for farm machinery and new construction that was holding them back. For the second month in a row, the short-term farmland value expectation index declined nine points. That index now down 18 points over the last two months and down 20% from its 2021 peak. Results from the short-term index stand in contrast to what we found when we asked producers about their five-year outlook. The long-term farmland value expectation index actually rose nine points this month to a reading of 150, up from 141. That long-term index is only down 7% from its 2021 peak. We followed up with producers that said they expect farmland values to rise over the next five years and asked why they felt that way. And once again, the number one reason was non-farm investor demand followed by inflation. Those are the two primary reasons those producers expect farmland values to rise over the next five years. In this month's survey for the second month in a row, we asked corn and soybean producers what they expect to see happen with respect to cash rental rates in 2023 versus 2022. 42% of the respondents in this survey said that cash rental rates are likely to rise in 2023 compared to 2022. But if you compare the results in July versus June, producers' expectations for the magnitude of the rise is moderated. Given the dramatic rise in crop input cost, we asked producers if they expect to change their crop mix in 2023 because of the rise in cost. 24% of the respondents in this month's survey said they do in fact expect to change their cropping mix in 2023. We followed up with those producers who said they plan to change their cropping mix and asked them what the biggest change was likely to be. And over half, 53% of them said they've intended to plant more soybeans in 2023 than they did in 2022. That wraps up the highlights of this month's survey. The full report is available on our website, which is purdue.edu slash agbarometer. And you can also get more details on our podcast, the Purdue Commercial Agcast, which is available on major podcast providers and also at our website, purdue.edu slash commercialag. On behalf of the Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.